What's up y'all? My name is Anna. Welcome to my channel and today is my fourth update to my Back to Broadway project pan. Now, um, I'm just gonna have to apologize because there's a lot of like background noise because there's laundry going on and stuff. So the past few updates have been pretty consistent in usage and pretty exciting. And this one is, um, <laughs> special. You see, I'm pretty sure we all know that everyone's stuck inside for the most part. And um, so that's definitely affected my progress. I did not wear makeup for about a week, maybe two. Um, I've started to wear makeup more now just to like get in the group of things and to like keep me inspired and stuff. But um, I was not wearing makeup because first off, I've been sick for two weeks. I'm still sick. <laughs> first I had a cough. And now it's like an ear infection, and it's hard to breathe in my nose, and it's just great. And I have been sleep deprived for two weeks, so really, I'm really doing great, actually. But anyways, with all that said, I did a declutter recently. I don't know if you've seen the video, but some of the items in here were decluttered because for some reason, being in quarantine or something, it just I was just like, you know what? I'm done. I want to clear out things that I don't like and yeah, I'm gonna talk about them a little bit more in depth later But if you've seen that th then you know, but otherwise uh, I'm just warning you this might be disappointing for updates for several reasons I forgot to mention that um, this is a project where I Associate each item with a musical and once I've known that I roll in something else and it's a different musical basically it's an excuse for me to talk about makeup and musicals in the same video because I'm a nerd so yeah <laughs> so this first product was for the musical Phantom of the Opera and it is the Wet n Wild Dewey Primer and actually I completely finished it even with um, a lot less makeup wearing in this past month there was a little left that I was able to use this up I used this 12 times this past month so it really was almost done and in total I used it 74 times if you're counting all my uses oh gosh really if you're counting all my usage from the beginning of the project everything's going great nothing's falling apart here <laughs> so this next product is for the musical something rotten and it is the wet n wild matte primer and um I try to write lines, but I don't think you can really see them that well. Basically, right before this, I was at this white line here, and now I'm kind of right above the ears for the bunny. I rolled this in last time, even though I didn't finish. I had two of these, and the other one was almost done. That one, I had one and a half uses left. I was pretty sure I was pretty close. Um, so, yeah, just so you know, like I officially used that one up, and that one took 62 uses in total since the beginning of the year. So now that I moved on to this, I've used this 13 times since then. So yeah, I made, you know, decent progress. I think there's still like air stuck in here. So it's kind of hard to tell exactly, but I've been using this pretty much every time I've been wearing makeup. This next item is for the musical Heathers and it is this elf eyeshadow Franken bronzer. It used to be in a pan. However, if you saw my, um, frankening, depotting, repressing videos, um, then you would know that I crushed that up and made it into a loose bronzer because it broke a month or two ago and I had to repress it and then it broke again just a couple weeks ago and I was like, I can't go on using this. If it keeps on breaking, then I'm not gonna travel with it and therefore I won't use it as much if I can't bring it back between my two houses that I live at. So I was like, you know what? It's just gonna be a loose bronzer. Um, oh gosh, powder flying. Um, so I don't think you can see, but it's not super full. However, I don't need a ton when I use it. I will probably just put up a picture to show progress. Um, but yeah, I my goal was to hit pan, but now it's just to use this up so I no longer have this weird loose product. So yeah, changed my goal, but it would be nice to finish a bronzer by the end of the year. I have used this product um, 11 times in the past month, so not a ton, but considering I didn't wear makeup a ton, it makes sense. Now these next three products, I'm just gonna get out of the way now. If you saw my declutter, 
I'm getting rid of these. Mostly the reason was because I realized I used this once since last update. It is the Wet n Wild um, Mega Go Stick Blush. And that one use, suddenly it was like heavens opened at a revelation. I realized, wow, I really hate this product. Because I've been going back and forth the past couple months. I wasn't quite sure how I felt, but like, I kept on saying, like, it's kind of glittery. It is glittery. And it doesn't have the lasting power. So eventually it's just glitter. And I'm just, I'm tired of glitter. I'm, I basically got rid of all the glitter in my life. Um, same with, well, this one's just getting old. And it mostly was because the applicator broke off. And I, I was just like, you know, it's a year old. You're not even supposed to have it for that long. I'm done. <laughs> I'm, I'm done. Yeah, so because I got rid of this, I was like, I'm only really using this because I want to use these together and I don't even like it that much and it's not a good color for me really. I was using it for bronzer because it hor it's, it's a horrible color on my lips, but you probably already heard this if you watched the declutter video, but yeah, I'm just gonna say like, these are gone and I'm probably not gonna roll anything in for these. At least right now I'm not. Because right now I have a chopping block series and I'm kind of messing with blushes in that one and I want to be able to freely use those without trying to pan one at the moment, but I probably will put one in later. Um, bronzer, I already have a powder bronzer and this is my only cream one and it's not even a bronzer, so like, it, yeah. And this is my only eyeshadow single that was liquid at least. I have two powders, but one's already in a project and the other one, <laughs> I'm not gonna try to use that up, so. These are going, I am going to try to recycle them in some way. Milani products, they all have a recycle symbol. So I know if I empty it out, then I can like just recycle it. But these two, not really sure what to do. If you have any advice, that'd be great. Now for the musical Anything Goes, this product is a, um, this is a NYX cake brow powder that I, to be pressed into here because I only liked one out of like the three products in there but I'm mixing it with this random freaking eyeshadow because this is kind of a bit too gray and this one's definitely too warm so like together they work I have it on my brows today I feel like it works um I think before there wasn't any pan so like I made pretty significant progress but they are really thin I have used this 14 times and I'm pretty sure that's how many times I wore makeup in this past month for the musical newsies I have this Franken lip gloss that I put into this new packaging because there's a stopper and I enjoy it so much more because it's so much less messy. Even still, I have not used this as much as I would like to. My goal was to use it 10 times. I've only used it six times. Now, um, a lot of that is because recently I haven't been wearing it because I've been sick. I didn't want to contaminate this. I've been only using like bullet, you know, balmy products that you can wipe off and like sanitize that way. This, you can't really do that. So I've just been avoiding my lip glosses or just like washing my hands and like kind of getting a little bit off the applicator, but I didn't want to put the applicator to my lips because I'm sick, if that makes sense. So six times considering I've been sick and I haven't been wearing much makeup, I feel like that's okay, but I'm kind of like disappointed that I didn't, I, I usually use it quite a bit more. For the musical A Band's Visit, I have this Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balm in the shade Hibiscus. And um, my goal is to use this five times. I use this four times. One of them is today. But yeah, just I haven't worn as much makeup. So like the goal thing didn't really work that much this, this month. This is my line. Last month I made more progress than this month because not only did I wear it more often, but also when I wore it, I reapplied it more because I was like actually leaving the house. I still feel like I can finish it in the next couple months with no problem. With the musical Dogfight, I have the Milani... Um, I forget what it's called. It's like lip plumping gloss. The words have like rubbed off, so I have no idea. But it's in the shade Soft Rose. And um, I rolled this in last time, I believe. I had a line here. I can't really, it hasn't settled really, so I have no idea how to mark it at this point. Um, I wore it six times, which is pretty good. A lot of times it was like, I wanted something kind of more like a lip balm, so I just like put a little bit on my finger and rubbed it, so it wasn't a ton of use. Um, or I put this on top of this lip gloss because this is a little bit too light on its own, but since this is kind of bright, like I feel like they make a nice neutral color on me. But yeah, I 
there's not a ton of visual progress. There's not a ton left in here, but I feel like there's enough for me to like not finish this anytime soon. But at least my goal was to use it five times and I used it six times, so like, wow, I beat my goal on one of them. <laughs> now, since I finished up that Wet n Wild Dewy Primer, I'm rolling in a new primer, and this is actually the last primer in my stash, I guess you could call it. Um, and I chose it for the musical The Hunchback of Notre Dame because of the song Heaven's Light, and this is um, a glow lotion, and it's like very illuminizing, you know, like light is. Also because of the line, I knew I never know that warm and loving glow, like, you know, in the song Heaven's Light, so I feel like it's... There's a connection. So I was editing this video and I totally forgot to like mention how amazing the soundtrack to Hunchback is, because first off, Alan Menken, musical genius, but it's just one of the most gorgeous soundtracks of any musical I've ever heard. I want to finish this. I do not know if I like it. I, I feel like primers just don't do enough for me to warrant buying. I don't know if I'll want to buy a new primer. There is a Milani one that's like a hydrating one in like pink packaging that I saw came out recently. I'm intrigued to try that. Um, but other than that, I don't... I don't know, but I want to finish this up. I, it's fine. I just don't know how much it really does. So yeah, it'll be nice for me to get to know this product a bit more. So as of now, I used to have 10 products. Now I have seven products. I guess it's kind of a weird number, but I'm just kind of sticking there at seven because it's working for me. And I don't really have anything that I want to roll in specifically because a lot of other areas either I have the amount I want, or it's like eyeshadows, that's a different project, or I'm just already working on one thing and I can't, I can't work on too many at once. So, um, yeah, seven products, kind of disappointing progress in a sense of like, I didn't use things as much and I decluttered three of the things in here. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed and um, let me know if you're doing a project pan, I'd love to see your progress and stuff and um let me know how you've been doing uh with this quarantine have you been wearing makeup have you um just kind of stopped wearing makeup have you been playing more with makeup with like fun colors as you're not going anywhere i've been trying to do that but um yeah anyways i hope that you have an amazing day bye